Hi everyone. Today we're back with 30 days of sketches with Christy's Beautiful Life. And we are on day number 19. And it was created by Pam Nicole Nichols. And is that yeah, that's it. <laughs> I'm used to wearing two pairs of glasses whenever I do this. It's like, it's a little, a little off today. Okay, this is one of the page kits that I made with um, the embellishments. Like I, I purchased some um, die cuts that um, you cut out and it was from P13 and it was called, I think, Farm to Table and I don't have it here so I don't know. <laughs> but, um, so anyhow, I had a, a red gingham in it, or it's kind of like a buffalo check, but smaller. And, and then I had a piece that I said, it kind of reminded me of my um, grandma's maybe wallpaper. And then there was a thing in there that looked like a ledger where they kept prices and um, an old envelope. So this was like a whole page and um and then i've cut it apart and i'm going to use parts of it so um i guess we'll get started so i have this picture of my grandfather and i've already matted it he is with my cousin jerry jerry was born a month before me and we've always been super good friends and I was on his Facebook page the other day and found this picture of him and my grandpa. So I snagged it. Well, I just actually, um, what is it? Screenshot it. <laughs> so I'm putting this on a piece of that old paper or old looking paper. And this is, I think it was a Tim Holtz paper. And so I've got that. So part of the Tim Holtz thing, it was like, it was ledgers, it was maps, and it was like a big pack of assorted things. Okay, so I've got that matted. I'm gonna tape this down to one side. Now when I get to the, uh, the um, title, I will be um, just, I will pause it and put the title on because I'm, it's going to say my grandpa and Jerry and cousin Jerry. Okay, so do I have that kind of straight? Let me get this invisible ruler out. Okay, I think it looks pretty good. Okay. And of course my sketch will be up here. Okay, and then I have this. Now, I actually cut this apart, and it was they were right next to each other. I don't know how come I cut it apart because I ended up just using it. I'm going to use it all together anyway, or right next to each other. So I'm just going to overlap this. Well, I think I'll just butt it right up against it. No, I think I'll overlap it just a little. But um, I'm going to put it right down to the bottom of or right before the plaid paper and where this one is overlapping the plaid oops and it's not straight so I'm gonna have to push it over just a little bit more okay and this I told you how this reminded me of the milk house on my grandpa's farm and that's why I wanted to use this and then I'm just going to overlap that little cutout and run this right up to it. I always loved going to my grandpa's farm. It was so much fun. Okay, and I am going to put this probably about there. I'm going to put this right here. So it looks like I can put that right there and have no overlapping. And I want it kind of centered. Now in the sketch there's two pictures and the title's on the right, but I'll tell you my picture is not going to look much like that one. Well, I don't know, you can see where I got the inspiration, 
But um, when I looked at that Rolling Hills and and then I was thinking about my grandpa's picture, I thought, oh my gosh, I just gotta do my grandpa's picture on there. Okay, so let's see. I've got three and a half here and I've got three and almost a half there. So yeah, if I put it right up that by that blue line there, that should be just perfect. Um, my grandpa's house was up on a hill and the barn was like kind of down in like a valley so you you would um have to climb down the hill or climb up the hill whenever you were done and anyhow um it's like when sometimes we'd get there if it was in the winter it was in wisconsin so if you if it was in the winter it's like my mom would be like I just can't go up the hill. Uh, I'll get out and walk. So sometimes I would go out and walk with her and it's like, oh my gosh, it was so much easier just riding in the car. <laughs> I just got to where I just did it. Okay, I'm going to pause a minute and put the title on and I'll be right back. Oh, you'll be glad I paused it because I had to mess around with that, <laughs> those letters for a while. Now I had to MacGyver the, the A's because I was already out of A's and so they're made from V's and then I used part of a Q to make the other lines. Oh, I'm still got to mess around with it, I guess. I think it's just not straight or I think the G is just off. Okay, so um, my grandpa was a dairy farmer, but he also did, you know, he also had chickens um and what else i know that he grew things because um i remember him like well they probably made hay i'm not sure what else they did out there and um but that was you know part of it and because i remember like they had equipment that they would put the hay up into the loft. I know they had like a corn crib because I remember being in there. And I told you how this hill was super steep. But um, so anyhow, he had a barn that looked actually much bigger than this. And then they had the a milk house, which it was white inside and out. And they had to wash it before they brought in the milk and they had to wash it after or sterile it was had to be like sterilized so okay i'm just putting this little fence and i actually can't remember any fences in my grandpa's yard or in on the farm but i'm sure he had to have them because otherwise the cows would have just strayed wherever they wanted to and i know they didn't just stray anywhere Okay, so I've got the barn, I got this little fence, and then I've got the tractor. I have no recollection of what color my grandpa's tractor was. It seems like maybe it was probably red. And um, and I'm gonna use this as the little milk house. Oh, I got a funny story for you. I used to work at a bakery, so take this into consideration. <laughs> when I tell you the story. And if you're drinking coffee or anything, um, just go ahead and put that right down right now. But um, anyhow, so I worked in a bakery. So it's like, you know, I was, I never got used to those crazy hours of having to work and I never got used to not having any sleep. So one day um, I was, the telephone rang and I answered the phone and there was a guy on there with a, a slight southern accent and he said um he I just said hello and he just starts right on talking or starts right in talking doesn't ask you know who he's talking to and he says I'm looking at your milk machines here in this catalog and I said you're looking at my milk machines in the catalog <laughs> And I hung up the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I probably wouldn't act. It's so weird, but you know, it's like when you haven't slept. <laughs> I'm thinking, what is this? And I know, um, it's like when we get a wrong number, it's like my ex-husband, when we first um, got married, it's like sometimes the somebody would call for a snowplow and we had a number that was close to there the, the um like the wrecker service and it's like we were short of cash so he would um actually you know take the call and <laughs> go pull this guy out of the snow <laughs> So, I mean, you know, it's like back then it was things, we did weird stuff. <laughs> okay, so over here I've got this great big floral stuck behind the milk house. And then I got a great big pot of basil with, with a basil sign in it. So, I mean, everything is out of perspective, but, um, I just think it looks cute, so I'm just going with it. I don't remember if my grandma grew basil or not. She probably did grow some herbs. I know she had a cherry tomato plant that she had grown in the house one time. That was like so cool. And then I wrote dairy farm on this little um, sign that was also part of the cutout. And it's like I totally, I should have just cut it in half and wrote dairy farm or put my grandpa's name but I didn't and so I'm tucking half of it in there because it just is lopsided and um, and then I've got this little apron here it's got like growing tools and plants in here now my grandpa this is the only thing I ever remember seeing him in and I know that he had come to my house before and he probably didn't have on those, but that's what I remember. So I just, I just love it that he's got those um, overalls on. And so, um, and if any, they, I think they did have to wear some kind of apron in the milk house. I think you had to be dressed um, in certain clothing. And, I mean, there was rules for the milk house, but I don't remember what they were. And so I'm just kind of pulling around this color. These letters are actually from a paper studio baby line, baby girl line, but it looks like the faded red paint. So that's why I use that. And um, I know they had kind of odd lights in the, in the barn where the cows were. And to me, I think these look like that. And they, this was in the thing too. So in with the embellishments. So I'm going with that. Well, maybe if I can glue it down. Ah, I'm afraid I'm going to have a whole bunch of glue come out all at once. Okay, did I let this sit here without the lid on it? So did you, okay, so now I told you my um, funny stories about getting the wrong number. And, um, I mean, the one was ridiculous, but it was ridiculous because of me. But... You do have to realize, um, I went sometimes days without any sleep. <laughs> and, oh, also, our number, it must have been between these two, like the, the wrecker place, or it was probably just a filling station at the time, and also the movie theater. And so sometimes we get calls to want to, they'd want to know what was playing and if I knew I mean again you just say hello they don't you think oh you didn't they didn't say Jeffrey's theater <laughs> they would just start asking so what movie's playing if I knew I'd just tell them and <laughs> so that was that was the fun old days when you got all these weird calls <laughs> 
Now, my grandma and grandpa, they ha actually had a party line. Okay, I also have this milk bucket, and I'm going to put that over here. And let me see, I want a dimensional for this. I'm going to put it right on here, so part of it needs to be up a little bit. I better cut this in half. So if any of you remember party lines, um, tell me down in the comments. And if you guys ever got weird calls and then could take the call or, you know, go pull somebody out of the ditch or something. I mean, we lived in Wisconsin. People ended up in the ditch all the time. Luckily, if you were there, any length of time, you learned how to drive and that kind of stuff. <laughs> okay, so there's my grandpa and my cousin Jerry. Oh, I'm gonna use some white enamel dots because they look like milk. So I think, I mean, they just look like little drops of milk. They really do look that creamy. Okay, so I thought I have to use those. I'm just kind of put three here and there. Now that I laughed so hard, my eyes are teary and I can't, um, I won't be able to count if I'm, if I'm out, of, out of sync with my normal um, odd numbers or not. So. Okay, so I think that's it. I love it. I'm so happy to have an ancestor page done. I'll have to tell Jerry that I'm gonna have him on YouTube. <laughs> okay, I'll have close-ups at the end. And I did tell you who the, the creator was, Pam Nichols, and this is day 19 and tomorrow I'll be back with day 20. Have a wonderful day and oh and remember check out the people down below You'll go to the link where you can check out lots of people that did this maybe um, a, Probably a little closer to the sketch than what mine is But I think mine is just perfect So have a wonderful day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye